Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing the whole life of Frog and Toad. Frog and Toad are friends, yep. We are going to be doing the whole thing. We are going to be doing the whole entire chapter. As you can see here, Frog and Toad. As you can meet the audience. Let's get into the story. So first. Spring. Frog ran up path. Um, frog ran up the path to Toad's house. He knocked on the front door. There was no answer. Toad, Toad! Shouted Frog, wake up! It is spring! Blah! Said a voice from inside the house. Toad, Toad! Cried Frog. The sun is shining. The snow is melting. Wake up! I am not here said the voice that sounded like Toad. Frog walked into the house. It was dark and all the shutters were closed. Toad, where are you? called Frog. Go away, said the voice from a corner of the room. Toad was lying in bed. He had pulled the covers over his head. Toad pushed, Frog pushed Toad out of the bed He pushed him out of the house and into and into the front porch. Toad blinked in the bright sun. Help, said Toad. I cannot see anything. Don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is the clear, warm light of April. And, and it means we can begin a whole new year together, Toad. Think of it, said Frog. We will skip through the rivers and run through the woods and swim in the rivers. In the evening, we will sit right here on, the, on this front porch and count the stars. You can count them, Frog, said Toad. I will be too tired. I am going back to bed. Toad went back into the house. He got into the bed and pulled the covers over his head again. But Toad, cried Frog, you will miss all the fun. Listen, Frog, said Toad, how long have I been asleep? You have been asleep since November, said Frog. Well then, said Toad, a little more sleep will not hurt me. Come back again and wake me up at, at about half past May. Good night, Frog. But Toad, said Frog, I will be lonely until then, said Frog in a sad voice. Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. November page was still on top. Frog, Frog tore off the December page, and the January page, and the February page, and the March page, and came to the April page. December page and the January page and the February page and the March page and he came to the April page. He tore off the April page too. Frog ran back to Toad. Toad! Toad! Wait. Toad? 
Toad, Toad, wake up! It is May now. What? said Toad. Can it be May so soon? Yes, said Frog. Look at your calendar. Toad looked at the calendar. The May page was on top. Why? It is May, said Toad. As he climbed out of bed. Then he and Frog ran outside to see a wonderful... Uh, to see how the world was looking in the spring. Chapter 2. The story. Frog. Alright, one day in summer, Frog was not feeling well. Toad, said Frog, you are looking quite green. But I always... But I always look green, said Frog. I am a frog. Today you look very green. Even for a frog. So Toad, get into my bed and rest. Toad made Frog a cup of hot tea. Frog drank the tea, and then he said, Tell me a story while I'm resting. All right, said Toad. Let me think of a story to tell you. Toad thought and thought, but he could not think of a story. I will go out on the front porch and walk up and down, said Toad. Perhaps that will help me to think of a story. Toad walked up and down on the porch for a long time. But he did not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad went into the house. He stood on his head. Why are you standing on your head? Asked Frog. I hope that if I stand on my head, it'll help me to think of a story, said Toad. Toad stood on his head for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad, then Toad, <laughs> then Toad poured glasses of water over his head. Are you pouring water over your head? asked Frog. I hope that if I pour water over your head, It'll help me to think of a story, said Toad. Toad poured many glasses of water over his head, but, yet, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Toad began to bang his head against the wall. Why are you banging your head against the wall? Asked Frog. I hope that if I bang my head against the wall hard enough, it'll help me think of a story. I am feeling much better. Now, Toad, said Frog, I do not think I need a story anymore. Then you get out of bed and let me get into it, said Toad. Because now I feel terrible. Frog said, would you like me to tell you a story, Toad? Yes, said Toad, if you know one. Once upon a time, said Frog, there were two good friends. Frog? And a toad. But the frog was not feeling well. He asked his friend the toad to tell him a story. The toad could not think of a story. He walked up and down the porch, but he could not think of a story. He stood on his head, but he could not think of a story. He poured water over his head, but he could not think of a story. He banged his head against the wall a couple of times, but he still could not think of a story. Then the toad did not feel well. So feel so well and, and the frog was feeling better so the toad went to bed and the frog got up and told him a story the end how is that toad said frog but toad did not answer it did not answer he had fallen asleep like always a lost button for a long walk. They walked across a large meadow. They walked in the woods. They walked along the river. At the last, they went back home to Toad's house. Oh, drat, said Toad. Not only do my feet hurt, but I have lost one of the buttons on my jacket.
jacket. Do not worry, said Frog. We will go back to all the places we walked. We will soon find your bed. They walked. They walked to a large meadow. They began to look for a button. And it's all ours. Here is your button, cried Frog. Yeah, I'll put buttons into it. Until that button is black. My button was white. said the sparrow. Did you lose a button? I found one. Toad, put the small button in his pocket. A raccoon came out behind a tree. Da! Frog and Toad. A raccoon came out behind a tree. I heard that you were looking for a button. He said, "Here, here is one that I just found." There is not my button. Where the toad? The button is square. My button was round. Toad put the square button in his pocket. Toad, frog and Toad went back to the river. They looked for the button in the mud. Here's your button, said Frog. There, it is not my button, shouted Toad. That button is thin. My button was thick. So this is thin. That is not my button, Shana told that button is thin. My button was thick. in his pocket. He was very angry. He jumped up and down and screamed, the whole world is covered with blades and none of them is mine. Toad ran home. He slammed, he slammed the door. But what did he find? Toad, there on the floor, he saw his, four, his white floor hold. Big round, thick button. said Toad. It was there all the time. What a lot of trouble I have made for Frog. Toad, Toad, Toad took all the buttons. Toad took all the buttons out of his pocket. He had sewed them on to his 
out of the pocket. He took all the buds out of his pocket. He took his sewing box. Down from the shelf. And, sew and sewed the buttons all over his jacket. Today, Toad gave his jacket to Frog. Frog thought that it was beautiful. He put it on and jumped for joy. None of the buttons fell off. Toad had sold them on very well. A swim. swim. Toad and Frog went down to the river. What a day for a swim, said Frog. Yes, said Toad, I will go behind these rocks and put on my bathing suit. I don't wear a bathing suit, said Frog. bathing suit on, you must not look at me until I get into the water. Because I look funny in my bathing suit. That's why, said Toad. Frog closed his eyes when Toad came out behind from the rocks. Toad was wearing his bathing suit. Don't pee, he said. Toad jumped into the water. Splash, splash, splash. They swam all afternoon. Frog swam fast and made big splashes. Toad swam slowly and made smaller splashes. A turtle came along the, the, the river bank. Turtle came along the river bank. Frog, tell that turtle to go away, said Toad. I do not want him to see me in my bathing suit when I come out of the river. Frog swam over to the turtle. Turtle, said Frog, you will have to go away. Why, why should I, asked the turtle. Because Toad thinks that he looks funny in his bathing suit. And he does not want you to see him, said Frog. Some lizards were near. Some lizards were sitting nearby. Does Toad really look funny in his bathing suit, they asked. A snake crawled out of the grass. If Toad looks funny, Bathing suit, said the snake. Then I'm 
then one for one. Want to see him? We want to see him too, said two dragonflies. Me too, said a field mouse. I have not seen anything funny in a long time. Frog swam back to Toad. Frog swam back to Toad. I am sorry, he said. I am sorry, Toad, he said. Everyone wants to see how you will look how you will look. Then I will stay right here until I go away, said Toad. The turtle and the lizards and the snake and the dragonflies and the field mouse all sat on the riverbank. They waited for Toad to come out of the water. Please, cried Frog, please go away, but no one went away. Toad was getting colder colder. Toad was getting cold, colder and colder. He was beginning to shiver and sneeze. I, achoo, I will have to come out of the water. Achoo, water. I'm catching a cold. Toad climbed out of the river. Toad climbed into the river. The water dripped out of his bathing suit and down into his feet. The turtle left, the lizards left, the snake left, the field mouse left, and frog, and, and frog left. What are you laughing at, frog? said Toad. I am laughing at you, Toad, said Frog, because you do look funny in your bathing suit. Of course I do, said Toad. Then he picked up his clothes and went home. The letter. Toad was sitting on his front porch. Frog came along and said, What is the matter, Toad? You are looking sad. Yes, said Toad. Yes, said Toad. This is this is my sad time of this is my sad time of this is my sad time of day. It is the time when I wait for the mail to come. It always makes me very unhappy. Why is that? asked Rock. Because they never get any mail, said Toad. Not ever, asked Frog. Not ever, said Toad. No one has ever sent me a letter. Every day, my mailbox is empty. That is why waiting for the mail is a sad time for me. Frog and Toad sat on the porch feeling sad together. Then Frog said, I have to go home now, Toad. There is something I must do. Toad, hurry home. <laughs> then Toad said, Then Frog said, I have to go home now, Toad. There is something I must do. Frog, hurry home. He found a pencil. In a piece of paper, he wrote on the paper. He put on the paper. Wait. He found a pencil, a piece of paper.
He put the paper in an envelope. On the envelope, he wrote a letter for Toad. Frog ran out of his house. He saw... He saw... He saw... He saw a turtle. He saw a turtle. He saw a frog, or a turtle. That's he do. Turtle, said Frog. Please take this letter to Toad's house and put it in his mailbox. Sure, said the snail right away. Sure, said the turtle right away. Even though the turtle was acting slow. Then Frog ran back to Toad's house. Toad was in bed taking a nap. Toad, said Frog, I think you should get up and wait for the mail some more. No, said Toad. I am tired of waiting for the mail. of the window at Toad's mailbox. The turtle was not there yet. Toad, said Frog, you never know when someone may send you a letter. No, no, said Toad. I do not think anyone will ever send me a letter. Frog looked out of his window. The turtle was still not there. But Toad, said Frog, someone may send you a letter today. Don't be silly, said Toad. No one has ever sent me a letter before, and no one will send me a letter today. Frog looked out of the window. The, the turtle was still not there. Frog, why do you keep looking out of the window? asked Toad. Because I am waiting for the mail, said Frog. But there, it, but there will not be any, said Toad. Oh, yes, there will, said Frog, because I have sent you a letter. You have, said Toad. What did you write in the letter, said Frog, or said, said Frog said. I wrote, dear, I wrote Toad. Toad, I am sorry that you don't get any mail. But here is a letter. Oh, said Toad, that makes a very good letter. Then Frog and Toad went out into the porch to wait for the mail. They sat there feeling happy together. Frog and Toad waited a long time. Four days later, the snail got the Toad's house. Or, er, the turtle got the Toad's house and gave him the letter. And Frog. Here, Toad, Frog told me to give this to you. Toad was very pleased to have it. Now, guys, I know this video. All right, so guys, the Frog and Toad series, or yeah, yeah, the Frog and Toad thing is over now. This was 
this was actually a pretty long video, half an hour well. Wow. So, so guys, just if this video can get 300 likes in the next week, I will do more Frog and Toad videos. So everyone, I oh, I see some of you have not hit that that like button yet. I don't have my eyes on you. Some of you haven't. Now, now have a good day. said Toad. Goodbye. Goodbye. And trust me, there will be more Frog and Toad videos. Now enjoy the rest of your time. So guys, that video was really cool. So basically, yeah, but I had to use a lot. That video took forever. Or I wasn't even ready. So guys, I have to go now. Because I have to go to the bathroom so bad. <laughs> yeah, I could I wasn't able to go because I didn't want to disturb anything. So you guys have um have a yep, have a good day. Remember, more frog and toad videos coming soon. Okay. Also, I read through the whole entire book. I read through the whole entire I added a couple of my old words. To frog and toad are friends. I I've yep I've never actually read this book before. Well I have, but I just got it in the mail. And trust me, if this video can hit so much likes and a couple of subscribers, I will ask my mom to get me another frog and toad book. And then yeah, we can keep on making this series. Okay, bye.